hello and welcome back to this channel once again in today's video we are going to solve wasi 2021 called mathematics paper 2 question 10 a and b now we have question 10 a this happens to be a problem on bearings now let's try to solve this question a cyclist sets out from a town p on the bearing of 60 degrees to a town q five kilometers away he then moves on the bearing of 345 degrees to a town R, 6 kilometers from Q. I represents the information on a diagram. I, I calculate correct to two decimal places, alpha, the distance PR, beta, the bearing of R from P. So let's try to solve this question together. So from the question, we are told that a cyclist sets out from a town P on a bearing of 60 degrees to a town Q. So assuming this is our point P. This is the geographical north. And as usual, bearings are always measured from the geographical north. So let's assume that this is 60 degrees. So the cyclist moves from point P to point Q. So let's assume that this is our point Q. Five kilometers from point P. So this angle is a 60 degrees. And because these two angles alternate, it means that this angle is also 60 degrees. 90 minus 60 is 30. So if this angle is 30, then this angle is also 30 degrees. Now he then moves on the bearing of 345 degrees to a town R. So at point Q, from the geographical north, this is 90 degrees, 180, 270, and then 345 minus 270 is 75. So we still have an additional angle here, that is 75 degrees. To point R. That is 6 kilometers away from point Q. So this angle is 75. Which means that the total angle is going to be 105 degrees. Now let's complete the triangle. So we've been able to represent the information on a diagram so that is i i i we are going to calculate correct to two decimal places alpha the distance pr this is the distance pr now to find the distance pr we are going to use what we call the cosine rule now if this angle was 90 degrees then we will be using what we call the pythagoras theorem but since this angle is not 90 degrees then we are going to use the cosine rule. So according to the cosine rule, the distance PR square is equal to PQ square plus QR square minus 2 times PQ times QR times the cosine of the angle facing the distance PR. So that is cosine of angle 105. Now let's continue with the solution. So the distance PR square is equal to, we have PQ to be five kilometers, so five square plus QR is six, so six square minus 2 times 5 times 6 and then cosine of the angle 105 degrees is negative 0 0.2588 so now let's simplify so this becomes 5 square is 25 plus 36 minus 2 times 5 times 6 is 30 times negative 0 0.25 8, 8. So let's simplify further. 
25 plus 36 we have 61 and then negative 2 times 30 times negative 0 0.2588 we have positive 15.528 so when you add the two you have 76.528 so that is the distance pr square so pr is equal to the square root of 76.528 and this is equal to 8.7480 now since we are supposed to leave our answer to two decimal places then the distance pr is equal to 8.75 kilometers so this is the distance from point p to point r 8.75 kilometers now for beta we are going to find the bearing of r from p the bearing of r from p so p is going to be our reference point now to find the bearing of r from point p is basically going to be this angle from the geographical north of p to the line connecting PR so basically we are going to find this small angle and that's going to be the bearing of R from P so before we do that we need to find this angle let's call this angle X after finding this angle we are going to use the idea of the sum of interior angles of a triangle since we have this angle we are going to add this angle to this angle and then we subtract the total from 180 so that is going to be this angle so let's call that angle y later we are going to subtract later we are going to subtract the angle y from 60 degrees so that we can get this small angle so that is exactly what we are going to do so to find angle x we are going to use the sine rule so that is going to be sine of the angle 105 divided by the side opposite the angle that is the side PR and that is equal to sine X because we want to find this angle divided by the side facing this angle so that is the side PQ So we have sine 105 degrees equals PR. We had 8.7480 equals sine X divided by 5. Now we can cross multiply. So we have 5 sine 105 degrees equals 8.7480 sine X. Now let's divide through by 8.7480 and then 8.7480. So we have sine x to be equal to 0 0.5521. Therefore, x is equal to sine inverse of 0 0.5521 and then we have the angle x to be 33.51 degrees so that is this angle that is x equals 33.51 degrees now if you want to find the angle y then we are going to add angle x to 105 degrees and then we subtract that from 180 so that is going to be the angle y so let's find angle y therefore you say that y plus 105 degrees plus x which is 33.51 degrees is equal to 180 degrees so we have y to be equal to 180 minus 105 minus 33 point five one therefore we have y to be equal to forty one 
0.49 degrees so that is angle y that is this angle now to find this small angle we are going to subtract 41.49 from 60 degrees therefore we say that the bearing of r from p is equal to 60 minus 41.49 and that is equal to 18.51 degrees to two decimal place so now let's move on to the b part so let's continue by solving question 10b the following are arranged in order of size x minus 2 4 x plus 2 2 x plus 1 and 9 if the median is equal to the mean find the value of x now we have five items in here so that is n equals 5 from the question we have been told that the median is equal to the mean how do we find the median of an ungrouped data so the median is equal to n plus 1 divided by 2 describing the position of the item or the value so since n is equal to 5 then we have 5 plus 1 divided by 2 and this is equal to 6 divided by 2 which is 3 so that is describing the third value or the third positioned value since the number of items in the data set is odd that is why we have n plus 1 over 2. Now the third position value corresponds to x plus 2. So this happens to be the median. Now let's find the mean. So the mean is also given by the summation of x divided by n. Now let's add all these items and divide by n which is 5. So we have x minus 2 plus 4 plus x plus 2 plus 2x two plus 1 plus 9 divided by 5 so let's simplify this becomes x plus x plus 2x that is 4x negative 2 cancels out positive 2 we have 4 plus 1 which is 5 5 plus 9 is 14 divided by 5 so this is the mean now since the median is equal to the mean we can equate these two equations that is x plus 2 is equal to 4x plus 14 divided by 5 now let's cross multiply so we have 5 times x which is 5x 5 times 2 is 10 is equal to 4x plus 14 we transpose 4x to the left hand side we have 5x minus 4x and then we transpose 10 to the right hand side it becomes negative 10 so we have x equals 4 therefore the value of x is equal to 4 so that's it for today's video thanks for watching and see you in my next video bye bye